Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Many of you asked me to share a full tutorial of the presentation I uploaded recently. So here it is. In this video, I'll be walking you through the presentation I made step by step, showing you not just the slides but also how I designed them and the key points I focused on. If you've seen the presentation already, this tutorial will help you understand the structure and thought process behind it, so you can create something similar of your own. Let's jump right in. So starting with a fresh slide here, first we'll delete all of these placeholders. Now we need a background on a slide. So for that right click on the background and go to format background option and from there select picture or texture fill and insert the paper texture or any texture you want as a background. So as you can see it is inserted on the background. Now as you can see there is a texture option below it. When you click on it, you will get some stock texture options that is already in powerpoint. You can go with any of these options which are also good but, but for this slide I am going with this background which I have got it from canva. Now I need to insert a circle here. So let's go to insert tab and from shapes select a circle, zoom out the slide and holding shift just drag your mouse and the circle will appear place it over your slide so from here we'll remove its outline and give it a good color now keeping this slide as it is we'll duplicate it and we'll work on another slide now by holding shift we will drag the circle upwards now let's go to the insert tab and add a text box on our slide. Now we will give a good font to our title and increase the size of the text. Then type the title text. In our case it's aromatic layers. Now let's make our title even bigger. And align the text into middle. After that we will select this bold and italic. This will give our title a bold look. Now again from insert tab we will add a circle to our slide. So for that we will hold the shift key and drag it to make a perfect circle. Now open your browser and go to unsplash.com. Here you will get some high quality stock images which you can use in your presentations. Just search your topic here like we want a dish image here and this looks nice so we will just open it and copy the image after that paste it onto your slide like this then double click on that image and click on this crop icon from there you will crop the edges hold the corners and drag it till we just have a plate which we need for our presentation. Now right click and cut the image. Now again from format tab we will select the picture or texture fill and after that we'll just click on clipboard and the dish image that we just cut will appear on that shape. Now just uncheck this rotate with shape option. Now as you can see we have our dish on our slide. Now as this is a shape from shape format just remove its outline and now we have our second slide ready now to achieve this smooth transition from first and second slide you have to select the title and dish and copy them after that paste it on the first slide drag everything below the slide now reduce the size of your title and drag it behind the dish and rotate the dish after that when you apply the morph transition to it you will see this smooth transition between the two slides and this makes the intro of our presentation which looks so smooth. Ok now let's duplicate our second slide. After that select the title and increase its size and now right click on it and from format shape option we will go to text options. Just click on it and we have to reduce the transparency of it. So just drag this to 100% and now the text will disappear from our slide. 
and why this is important because this gives it a smooth exit from our slide so now let's animate our dish first arrange it on the right side of our slide so we have some space for our text and the dish rotates on the right side of the slide now again go to your browser and i'm searching flying veggies png here now as you can see these images are not transparent so to do that you will go to tools option and from colors you have to select this transparent by doing this you will get every image as a transparent png which will give it a clear background and you don't have to manually remove the white background from it now paste the png on your background and place it onto your dish after that right click and send it behind it after that copy the same png and paste it onto your previous slide then place it on top of your dish rotate it resize it and send it behind your dish now by doing this you'll have a smooth rotating transition with the veggies also rotating behind your dish giving it a smooth and sleek animation now add a text box and type your title then go to home tab and select a bold font for it increase the text size after that we'll add the second text below our title now from shapes we will select a rounded rectangle and draw it like this on a slide then remove its outline and select a light color then from this icon go to bevel and add this bevel to the rectangle now by doing this our rectangle looks something like a dish again go to format shape option now again select on that icon and add a shadow to the rectangle then from format shape option we will go to the shadow option and adjust the blur and distance of the shadow now this gives our shape a good drop shadow now i'm taking this chocolate smear png and i'll copy this image and paste it on our slide like this maintains the theme of our presentation which is related to food now i'll type the text over it this will be the title and i'll add some nutritional facts more details like proteins fats and other macronutrients so we have our third slide ready as well and this looks quite good just look at it now select these contents of our slide and copy it then paste it on the second slide after that hold shift and drag it to the left of the slide and by holding the shift key uncheck the title and drag the rectangle further away and look how clean the transition occurs between the two slides so now we will move on to our last slide so let's duplicate our third slide then select everything and drag it to the left of the slide so that the contents of the previous slide are outside of the slide and the dish remains inside now again arrange the contents like this for a much smoother animation now we need another dish image for this slide so we'll again go to unsplash.com from that scroll down and this dish image looks perfect for a slide so let's open it and paste it on our slide like we did before then add a spice png which i got from google now drag it onto your dish then right click and send it behind after that copy it and paste the same png image onto previous slide then rotate and resize it and send it behind the plate now i'm pasting directly the other contents on this slide after that we'll paste the same contents on our previous slide drag it to the right of the slide then hold shift and drag it in order as this time the transition will occur from the right side of the slide so drag the contents on the right side all right now that we have built all the transitions step by step Let's take a look at the final result. This is how you can make your presentations feel more dynamic and engaging without going over the top. And that's it for today's tutorial. 
I hope this helped you understand how to create a clean and professional looking transitions in PowerPoint. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might need it. Also let me know in the comments what kind of tutorial you'd like me to cover next. I'd love to hear your suggestions. And of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.